spring ball, oops, spring ball, spring ball, okay, now it's far enough, it's pretty much captured, okay, so as you push this copper bar back in, these two little tiny pins on this end uh, push towards the front of the camera and what they would normally be doing is this is the wrong end but it's the same idea the shutter plates there's two of them stacked like that and they, they slide over and they catch on these pins You catch on these pins and then when you release the shutter button she's right come on oh <laughs> it's cocked right now so it won't run all right so if we were to take a picture this would slide out I think I think that's it let's do a test Okay, so you push the shutter button, those two pins retract, which would then release the steel strip, which then zips across from these two springs in front of the, uh, in front of the lens, and there's two windows that slide past each other. So it's kind of a focal plane shutter, but it's not in the focal plane. It's curtain shutter, that's what it is. And uh, as, as you saw, it, it's, I think it's a little slow, I'm not sure, it's not real, it doesn't sound real zippy, but uh, it, it cocks when you close it up, and then when you open it up, and hit the shutter button, it seems to work okay, it's just, uh, just those crushed shutter blades. And where's the speed lever? Is this this is the speed lever? Okay. So as you rotate the speed cam on top, this is pushed around. It's I I I don't know how they did this back 80 years ago. How they designed these kinds of things, but somehow they did it. So you cock it. There's a spring under here. I didn't cock it all the way. Did I? Something isn't right. Oh well. Either way, so that's that's how it's supposed to work. Oh wait, there it is. There. Yeah, it's, it's sticky or there's a tired spring in here. Somehow there's a spring you can adjust, but I haven't been able to find it. It's part of that problem of old instructions and trying to read someone's, trying to, to translate someone's written word into physical parts. But there's some sort of a spring you can adjust that puts a little more tension on the works and uh, gets it to function what it was. This, this little lever, right? here is supposed to pop up and catch on this silver finger right here which is your shutter release and that wasn't popping up on its own so watch see now it's oh oh wait crud gotta open the camera first click now when you push this it runs that again. There, now it's snapped into position on its own. And this thing, if you... Where's the speed control? I think if I hold that... Then hit the shutter.
Well, somehow it works. That's not the point of this video. All right, so there's there's the, the main leftovers of the thing. Uh, nothing really will fall out of it except for this. And it goes that way. This this long finger here touches this this rack cam thing. Um, I mean, and it, it will, unfortunately, this is one of those few things that will go in the wrong way and look like it's okay, but it needs to go this way. Uh, you can either follow scratch patterns left on the body or it, this little point right here, uh, I think is the, the actual cam point that interacts with the knob. So as long as that point is towards the direction of the knob, that's another way to remember it. And let's let's look at the shutter body holder thing. Okay. So as I was talking about, this thing is two halves pressed together. It's crimped over the edges here. Um, I suppose you could uncrimp them to get the old blades out, but you'd have to get them recrimped without breaking them and it looks like it's brass or bronze which is which is going to work harden um, it could survive maybe it'll slide off let's see if that'll work looks like I might be able to slide it off this way mm. I don't think it's going to play ball. Let's try that again. Nope. So right now I've still got the springs inside of there and trying to deal with the blades. I can fish them back out the other way. Actually, I'm not going to be able to. Um. <sighs> I need a better set of pliers. Basically, at this point, I'm just taking it out piece by piece, and it's it's tearing more often than it's coming out nicely. What I'm doing is trying to stab a sharp point into it and using that as a enough grab to move it along a little bit. And then, there we go. Kind of like a can opener. Getting what I can through the window and lifting up on it to split it so I can fish two halves out of this hole that I've got to work through. Oh man. They are paper thin and razor sharp. Okay, 
So there's what remains. Let me flatten this out with a pair of pliers. I should have brought some smaller pliers with me, but I was hoping in vain that it would just be something simple and I would get lucky and have gotten a bargain. This was cheap anyways, but so there's a little bit of it. You can find pictures of these, but they're about that long. Oh man, it bent. This, this thing is very, very soft. Um, it's probably, if you did bend it, uh, you could probably get some new shutter blades and gently slide them in there and make sure that they run absolutely smooth if you did bend the housing like like I'm doing but uh, just as a heads up man. I'm gonna try to get this one out in one piece since there's a little more room in there now or at least I'd like to believe there's a little more room okay I've almost got the eye there we go There went the spring. Oh well. Same guy that sells shutter blades, sells new springs, and apparently they're pretty cheap. Try to unhook the spring through this little hole. Oh, there we go. And there it is. And this is one of the windows that slide past each other to, to make the images or let light in. So now I gotta wrestle these messed up poor little springs out of here. Okay, well, I'm going to call it quits. Uh, you don't need to sit here and watch me wrestle out a, a spring out of a hole. Um, so, yeah, as long as you don't have this going on, they're, they're pretty uh, maintenance-friendly if you're comfortable working with small mechanical things. Uh, I'm going to get this cleaned out, and then I will do a, a reassembly at some point. I'll I'll have to make a decision if I'm going to actually buy the shutter blades or not, because uh, I can still do it without without showing how to do the shutter blades. They're pretty pretty straightforward. I can use some paper dummies or something like that. So hope hope it helps you out, and um, if it doesn't, don't blame me because <laughs> there's uh. There's only one pro on these things, and sometimes you just have to make the leap and try it out yourself and see what you get. So if you have a, if you have a junk one or a cheap one or don't care, try out on that one first. And then uh, if you got something nicer, then, um, then take, a, take a shot at that. All right, good luck.